Hello, viewers. I'm Dr. Jainti, Associate Professor, Department of Commerce, Vidyasagar Women's College. I'm happy to present my research paper on the topic, a study on effectiveness of HR metrics, published in International Journal of Science and Research, IJSR, Volume 9, Issue 2, February 2020. My paper focuses on the current situation of HR metrics and its effectiveness. The study has been done mainly on the basis of secondary data and information that has been collected from multiple sources of evidence in addition to books, journals, websites and newspapers. It explores main issues in adoption of HR metrics, techniques and practices. Introduction. Human resource metrics have become a hot topic in organization of all sizes. Interest is rising and organizations are reaching out to learn more about metrics and how it can be used to improve organizational effectiveness. HR metrics are often overlooked or underrated in many organizations. This is a mistake because HR metrics are very important in assessing the efficiency of the HR policies, programs and endeavor. Now we will discuss about the various value of metrics. In metrics, M measures the contribution of employee and predict the quality of performance. E explore evidence-based relationship between employee, engagement, and learning and development. T for tap into new source of competitive intelligence and stay ahead of the pack. R for retain and engage your organization top talent by utilizing tool needed to anticipate future success. I for implement process mapping across HR for hiring and inducting new employees. C4, communicate the most relevant and actionable data to top management. S, strategize optimal measurement methodologies and martial resources that create value for customers, investors, executives, and employees. The main objective of the study. The main objective of my study is to review the following. They are the importance, history and role of HR metrics, factor considered in developing and deploying metric, imperative and benefit of HR metrics, selecting HR metrics that matters in today's business environment, and 10 best practice principles, critical success factor, and common errors of HR metrics. Measuring performance of HR is not new. It has a very brief history. They are humans and their performance were measured first in late 1890s and early 1900s with the advent of scientific management. Today, more and more organizations are focusing on invention in the current era of every competition. It becomes essential for organization to develop metrics which clearly indicate how workforce creates value for organization. The importance of HR matrix. The importance of HR matrix is to first understand the organization and its business thoroughly. HR matrix have to be framed after completely taking factors such as the business objectives, its strategies, and its imperative into consideration. HR matrix approach is based on the basis of three levels of metrics. They are impact, effectiveness, and efficiency. In the impact is based on link to business strategy, factor for creating competitive advantage and increased value. The effectiveness is based on policies and practice, factors linked to enhancement, differentiate between effective and non-effective practice and policies. And finally, the efficiency based on range of resources, level of investment and resource allocation. Now we will see the imperative of HR metric. There is a low degree of awareness of the impact of HRM program, whether positive or negative, because HR leaders have not been delivering metrics that show the value of their program or investment. And it has a quantification issue like metrics enable leaders and decision makers in organization towards more efficient and better delivery of HR services. Now we will have an overall view about the benefit of HR metrics. Metrics help you ensure that you are meeting your goal and customer needs. Metrics help you focus. Metrics tell you where to spend your money. It eliminates confusion. It also helps to push continuous improvement. Distributing metrics can change individual behavior. Metrics builds coordination and cooperation. 
Metrics help to build self-confidence and it also creates a HRM business value chain. Selection of HR metrics matter in today's business environment. The most impactful HR metric for employers today that certain metrics should be considered is based on the current business environment. This can be achieved by following some of the metrics like turnover rate, yearly turnover rate, time to hire, revenue loss due to position vacancy, cost per hire, number of applications per position, new employee performance, and revenue per employees. And its impact mainly on the organization is based on cost of hiring and productivity. Some of the best practice principles of HR matrix are top performing companies drill down metric to a deeper level and communicate to decision makers more effectively. Given that it's an integrated solution, it has fewer inconsistencies and offer greater reliability of data. Top performance have a dashboard of key performance indicators like KPIs. Metric are most commonly reported on a monthly basis or quarterly basis and then rolled upon into a year-end report. A similar best practice is to deliver metric that roll upon to specific business units and divisions. The critical success factor for HR metrics show HR real value, measurement, assessment and evaluation are to play a part in achieving sustainable organization performance. They should be impact oriented, forward looking and focused on the entire HR system, not just on individual HR practices. The importance of HR capability and guarding against point in time measurement only. Now we will see the success of HR metric. A point in time measurement very often appear to be a meaningless unless you can compare it to a set standard or benchmark and or view its position in a trend that may be emerging or put it in, in the right context. Asking the right question, framing the result, report the complete story and always try for improvement. The strategic for effective HR matrix. They are understand the role that the metric play in talent analytics. Understand the question first, then look at the metric. Recognize the HR metrics alone offer unlimited value. Identify the workforce, drive and components of business, drive and metrics. Learn to ask the right question, work across the organization and do not compromise on data quality. And we will move on to some of the common errors with HR metrics. One of the biggest mistakes that are so often reported is too many measures. Developing more metric than it is feasible to maintain and utilize. HR metric approach and HR team are not very analytical in their thinking yet. To conclude with my study on effectiveness of HR metric, HR metric and measures can be a wonderful strategic tool for any organization, any size to improve its working with people and their management. HR metrics play a magnificent role that reflects the impact of HR metric on key decision makers. Measures of effectiveness and impact will have a most relevance for leadership groups and the organization as a whole. A small number of headline efficiency indicators are needed to measure cost effectiveness and the top performance company drill down metric to a deeper level and communicate to decision makers more effectively. Thank you all.